For today's stock analysis breakdown video, we're going over stock ticker symbol VFS, VinFast Auto, okay? This stock jumped up over 100% on the day today, opening at lows around 1850, jumping all the way up to 4690, almost breaking that 47 before double halting and pulling back. Finishing the day though above $37, which is pretty nice to see this stock hold up. That's why I think this is going to be a big mover for tomorrow. But let's go into the stock, kind of break it down. The the easiest way we could have traded this thing, guys, is by using the simple moving average in the five day, five minute chart. This is by the books the easiest way to trade. You don't need to know about the RSI, you don't need to know about the volume, you don't need to know about any type of level twos. Literally, take the five day, five minute chart, okay? We're gonna zoom in on here and we're gonna take what we know, okay, about the first green candle above the blue SMA line and the first red candle below the blue SMA line. Now, this blue SMA line represents our simple moving average, okay, and this is on the five day, five minute chart. So, the first green candle at market open happened to be at 9 30 this morning. If we took the first green candle that opened above this blue SMA line right here at $19, let's say, let's make it even $19, and we took this all the way up until the first red candle below the blue SMA line opened which is this candle right here this is a clean pattern chart that you can take this stock from $19 all the way up to $30 okay that right there is what a 60 I forgot to see 58% increase on the day you're up 11 points just off of this one simple move by buying at the first green candle and holding out to the first red candle that simple this is the easiest trading technique and pattern that I use, and obviously it doesn't work every time because you got to take into consideration the RSI. RSI stayed pretty positive throughout most of the morning above the uh, uh, the upper level at 75 here, so it means that the RSI was a little hot but continued to stay high even when the stock was pulling back. And also, the volume itself was strong all morning, and it was in the 150 to 200,000, even 400,000 range during certain times in the morning. So, I mean, this can these candlesticks jump from 20 to what, 23, 24 dollars, some of them. Um, so we had this pattern where it'd go one big green candle, pull back a couple candles. One big green candle, pull back, and it would be like this stair-stepping pattern, which actually gave us a nice chart here. If we kind of take on the, I think it was the one day, one minute chart I saw this. If we zoom out here, we could take a look at the stair-stepping pattern. Yeah, so if we take the first pullback here, which was around 10 o'clock this morning, and kind of angle it through all these different pullbacks, you can see that we had a pullback one, pullback two, almost a third pullback here, pullback number four, pullback number five, a slight one here. Another one here, like so these pullbacks, every time there's a small pullback, it pushed forward and pushed higher to new highs. And uh, you could say the same thing with the top, make it a little resistance line. You could say that it bounced off these areas multiple times. And the, So we did have this breakthrough here on 46.90, couldn't break through 47. But the rest of the day was what shocked us. And if we go back to this five day, five minute chart, we could see that the stock, whoa, I lost her here. Uh, the stock honestly is holding up, which is giving me a strong sign that tomorrow is going to be a good trading day for this thing this $36 mark is where I want to watch for tomorrow open so here's my plan write this down put this in your brain for tomorrow morning around 9 15 9 30 towards open look at the stock where is the stock currently trading what's it looking like at the pre-market what's the volume looking like is it above $36 or is it below $36 if it's holding above $36 can it stay above $36 if it's below $36 what does that mean does that mean that it's tanking below 36 or is it like 34 to 35 range trying to get back above 36 you could see here that we did drop into the 34 range before but bounced back up and got back above 36 dollars so 36 dollars we gotta watch to make sure that this stock can hold above that range okay for us to continue to trade this tomorrow and for it to be a good play now obviously if we pull back this isn't the most beautiful stock in the world this is clearly a stock made for uh for day trading okay it's it's made for big moves like this where it goes from $14 up to 33 it looks like you can hit 40 back here uh, pulling back for multiple days on end and then taking off again uh, like we saw today so th this is really a mover that you got to be careful with because you don't know what can happen this can go completely the other direction this can go like it did this morning from 18 to 46 
46 back down to 18 so you gotta be careful with it guys let me know what you think about this stock breakdown are you gonna be trading vfs tomorrow let me know in the comments below this thing was up over 100 percent today guys do not miss it leave a like subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out everybody